Hey everybody, it's uh, June 2nd, 2017, and this is the Chuck Baker vlog number 398, and it's Friday. It's almost the weekend. Uh, and for all of you that have the weekend off, I uh, hope you uh, get some rest up for those of you that have to work. I uh, hope it's not too bad for you. Uh, and how the heck is everybody today? I really want to know, so put a note down there in the comments. Let me know uh, how you're doing, what you've been up to. And today I have six stories to talk with you about. And the first one here is um, Radio Shack is closing 1,000 stores. Now this was kind of a surprise to me because I didn't know there were any Radio Shack stores left. I thought they had closed them all. And I had uh, <clears throat> talked about this uh, earlier on uh, when uh, Radio Shack announced that they were filing for bankruptcy. And I thought all the stores were closed, but uh, evidently they had some stores left over, but uh, a thousand more stores are closing uh, down. I don't know how many they have left after that. Maybe this is the last, but no, I really missed the Radio Shack. I used to get their catalog all the time and see what new stuff they had. When the Tandy computers first came out, I was there to test them out. It's kind of sad to me that Radio Shack went under. Because I really liked it. But anyway, that, uh, it happens. You know, hard times and things have to change. Uh, next story here is Vladimir Putin praises Trump as straightforward and frank. Well, <laughs> you know, they've, they've always been best buds there. Uh, don't know what more you can say about that. That uh, Putin helped Trump get elected. And, uh, uh, Trump's had a lot of dealings with Russia. A lot of his golf courses were funded by Russia. So, uh, you know, what do you expect Putin to say? <laughs> I guess. Uh, and then the next story here is Samantha B. And Travis No serve up a big cup of Kofe. <laughs> Kofefe. Hey, you know about Kofefe. Uh, Trump made up a new word. He was tweeting and kind of in mid tweet, it just kind of got incoherent and disappeared. So, uh, what we came up, what we were left with was Kofefe. How about that? So, at least that's one thing he did while he was president. He made a new word. It's actually got a meaning now. If you go to the Urban Dictionary and type in Kofefe, uh, you can find out what it means. <laughs> uh, next story here is uh, Microsoft alumni Paul Allen unveiled the world's largest airplane. Now, if you look at this picture, what it really looks like is two airplanes that they stuck together. They cut the wings off of two airplanes and just joined them together, really. Uh, that's what it looks like. It's got two cockpits, as you can see, and uh, three engines on each wing. But I think that would might be kind of hard to fly with two cockpits. I mean, really. I mean, uh, you'd have to be really synchronized to be able to fly this plane. I don't know. Maybe, maybe the other cockpit's just there for uh, backup in case something fails. But I don't really know all the details. They just showed this in this picture, and they were uh, still doing the final checks of it. So it's it hasn't actually flown yet. It might end up to be like the spruce goose: fly one time and you never see it again. But we'll see. Uh, next uh, story here is uh, Amazon refunds 70 million of kids unauthorized in-app purchases. Well, you know, when you give your kids your cell phone, you're pretty much handing over your wallet anymore because your bank information, credit card information, it's all on there. So when they're playing these games and they run out of lives and they... And they pop-up comes up that says, you can get more lives for such and such money. What do you think the kid's going to do? They're going to press that button so they can keep playing. 
So, before you hand over your cell phone or your tablet to your youngsters, you should uh, think about that, you know, because um, when they're playing on this game, it's just like they're you, thinking pressure uh, payment button, and it's automatic. Uh, price we pay for convenience these days, I guess. So, just a uh, word to the wise. Don't leave your kids unsupervised with your electronic equipment. Or you could run up a big phone bill, internet bill, and, uh, game bill. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, and then the last story here is Password Manager... One login hit by data breach. See, that's the problem. You put all your passwords in one place online, and then that place gets hit by hackers and all this. So now they've got your account names and your passwords. <laughs> so now everybody's going to have to go through here. Everybody that uses this um, one login service is going to have to go in and change all their passwords again. Uh, that can be a pain in the butt. Well, um, that's it, everybody. That's all I have for today. Um, and as always, uh, the articles I've talked about today are going to be on my Google Plus page. And there's also links in the description down below uh, so that you can click on them and read them at your leisure. And if you like my video, please give me a thumbs up. And also, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you missed yesterday's vlog, just click on the image there. And please uh, check out my social media sites, G+, Facebook, and Twitter. And also check out my uh, webpage, uh, the Chuck Baker homepage at chuckbaker.org. Until tomorrow, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.